Okay, welcome everybody to our vision board party. I'm excited for those that are here watching now and those that are going to come and watch later. This is a fun activity and I love the idea of allowing yourself to dream. I mean, that's what this is all about is, is visualizing what you want for the future. And I'll tell you when I first dared to dream. If you've heard this before, it's worth hearing again because it truly was a pivotal moment in, in my pottery career. And it was when Melissa Davis, our national sales director, came to Salt Lake City, Utah to visit. I was a brand new pet pro and was really having a rough start. I was um, struggling with customers. They weren't saying yes. I was so disappointed. I really thought I would be, you know, running out the gate, just a rock star, and it just wasn't happening. And so Melissa came out to support me. And uh, when she came, we went out to Starbucks and met for coffee. And I will never forget the question she asked me. She said, if money and time were no object, if you had all the money in the world and all the time in the world, what would you do? And at first it was like, well, I'd probably travel. I mean, just like the traditional answers, right? Like just, you know, I don't know, travel more, I'd go shopping. But then she, she asked me more questions to that. She said, okay, what would you buy? If you went shopping, what would you buy? What would you do? Where would you travel to? Who would go with you? So she started asking me these questions that made me elaborate. And it was really, really interesting to just see what it opened up for me to realize like, wow, is dreaming really, is this really possible? You know, is this, is pottery the, the path to help me get these, these dreams? And I got really excited about it. I got really, really excited about the aspect of, wow, um, there's so much out there and so much for the taking. And this is my chance, you know, this is my chance to maybe dare to dream a little bit. So I wanted to share a little bit from the success principles too. So success principles, Jack Canfield, um, he talks about in this book, it even says how to get from where you are to where you want to be. And hi, Matt. Matt just got home. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Matt's always rolling in the last few minutes. So I'm glad you're here. Okay. So he printed, I told you, he printed some pictures that we can share today. So um, here Jack talks about in his chapter number three, or principle number three, decide what you want. What an important principle that is in, in your career. Because one of the main reasons why most people don't get what they want is they haven't decided what they want. They haven't defined their desires in clear and compelling detail. And I, I think that's why when Melissa asked me, I was kind of like, hmm, I don't really know. I hadn't really given it the thought. I, haven't, I hadn't really thought about what do I really want? I wasn't clear. So that's part of what we're doing today is getting really clear on what we want. Um, then she also, he also talks about here, I'll, I'll share this one last thought, and then we're going to just jump right in and get to our vision boards. He says, clarify your vision of your ideal life. The theme of this book is how to get from where you are to where you want to be. To accomplish this, you need to know two things, where you are and where you want to get to. Your vision is a detailed description of where you want to get to. At this stage in the journey, it's not necessary to know exactly how you're going to get there. All that is important is that you figure out where is there. If you get clear on the what, the will will show up. The how will show up. I love that. Isn't that great? I feel like that was really, really um, an important aspect of why we're doing yeah. this time today. Because it's, it doesn't matter how you get there. The idea is just to get really clear. So that's what we're doing today. Can you shut that, please? So here we are. Let's talk about the very, very first section here on our vision board. So we have, it's a blank slate. And I, not all of you will have this, but this is what your new pet pros will get. So any new pet pro that you enroll, this is the dream board they're getting. So I thought it was appropriate to do it on this vision board. So this came, I'll show you out here. This came as the top layer of the kit. It used to be like this, you know, and I just cut it off. Whoa, I'm losing my papers. And pulled this off. And this part number one, it says my vision board. We're so glad you're here. We hope you are as excited as we are to bring love home to as many pets as possible. Seeing those happy faces looking up at us saying thank you, giving us extra kisses, purrs, and wagging their tails changes everything and inspires us to do more. Your pottery business is the opportunity that changes everything. It opens up the possibilities to do more, see more, accomplish more, and dream more. Our greatest desire is for you, it, our greatest desire for you is that pottery will help you discover life-changing love and happiness in your own life and that you will help others find the same. Today is the day for you to begin this journey with us, a journey that will change everything. Welcome home, welcome to pottery. Love that message. 
So, call number one, how will you feel when you reach your goals? How will you feel? What picture do you have to represent that? I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you have any pictures, Kathleen or Lori? I, I, I started out with the bottom. Like, what would I, was I supposed to start at the top? Let's start at the bottom. Perfect. What will, where will you go? I love it. Cause that's what, that's exactly what Melissa Oh, I, I, I have lots. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I couldn't. Awesome. I mean, I only had two oh, magazines. I'm telling you, I only started this at 525 tonight because I forgot about it. I've thought about it. I've had sit on my table for a month and a half to do this. And it's, I've got to confess, I just never did it. I didn't have time. Okay. But I, I'm literally, I mean, wait a minute, I have to show you something. Uh-oh. Can you see me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. At five o'clock, I was doing this. I was rushing to cook dinner. Like it's all cut and chopped. And <laughs> my poor husband came home to me with looking like a kindergartner with all this cutting and painting <laughs> on the other side of the island. I'm not sure he's really happy with me, but anyway, I'm sorry that I'm doing this. No, I'm sorry, not so I'm doing it, but I'm sorry with the timing. But I'm having a ball. I wish I could spend about five hours. I never dreamt it would be so exciting. I am, I wish, I mean, I could stand here for probably eight more hours and do this. It's so fun. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really dreaming as I'm doing it. I love it. That's the whole point. Anyway. Yay. So start with that bottom one. So That's I'm awesome. just telling you in 30 minutes, my mind just, and wander that was so fun. So, um, so I want to travel. When I say travel, there's you know places I want to go. I want to you know go to a serene, um, it, just into the in, into the quiet of the um, of a hike with you know waterfalls and trees and things like that. Then I also but but there's two sides to me. I also love the beach. I, I love going to to the beach. Um, I love to, uh, travel internationally. I, I love to travel. I love to travel. And I, we do some travel, but I would like to do a lot more travel. So that's okay. my, that sounds like us. Yeah. Sounds exactly like um, I, uh, I, so I thought, you know, traveling, traveling with my husband, with our passports and you know, flying places, but also going with my girls, with my girlfriends, um, you know, hanging out at the beach. I love the beach. So um, that was, uh, I, I mean, I could, if this were five times bigger, I'd have five. Not that I haven't narrowed it down, but travel is, um, I, I don't have real specifics on travel. I could travel... <laughs> I could go to a lot of places. I, I'm not, I haven't, I think because I've been so busy in my life, I haven't had time to sit down and really kind of narrow it down and say, this is what I really want to do. So I want to do all of it right now. Love it. Love it. Awesome. <laughs> Why limit yourself, right? You're really clear on the fact that you want to travel. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, and um, so that's the first start. Yeah. Love it. All right, Lori, how about you? I really, I missed the call last week, so I haven't gotten started, but Kathleen, you just really inspired me. Lori, I want to tell you, and it's so good to see you, Lori. I never get to see you. And I think you're really an awesome woman. And I just want to tell you that because I, I yeah. always see you at PawFest or a few things, but I think of you and, and you're a, um, you, you just seem like a really cool person. I've never really gotten to know you that well, but I, I know you well enough to know I think you're really cool. And hey. I'd like to get to know you more. But anyway, it, yeah, Lori, it's really fun. I would never have dreamt it was I, – I wanted to do it, but I didn't know how I was going to feel when I did it. The feeling just came over me within minutes. And I'm, yeah. I'm a pretty crazy woman doing a 50 million things. And for yeah, something yeah. to come over me that quick, that's pretty profound. I think so, too. I think so too. And you know, 
we've done a few vision boards. I have one over here that's just a little bit collage of a lot of the pictures of us, of our team and everything, and I like it. But this is the first one that is really concrete and solid where I can see it all in one place, not just kind of little bits and pieces. And Pinterest is where my, my other vision board is. So this is really fun that we could implement this for Matt and me together, like what our vision board is together. And Can so, we see it? Yes, yes. So it's blank right now because we're just feeling, I'm going to tape them on. As That's I what I'm doing. Them. I'm cutting out. We're scrambling like you, Kathy. Oh, okay. Out. You said that I was the one scrambling. <laughs> Um, I was just laughing that you waited until the last minute because I'm like, yeah, we got a little bit of that over here too. But I knew yeah. what I wanted. I had saved and I had some of the pictures printed already, but not all of them. I, I said uh -huh. Matt to get some more. So if we start here at the bottom, where will you go? Matt and I really, this is a picture of Fiji. We really oh. want to go to Fiji for our 20 year anniversary, which is in two years. So Fiji is one where we will go and we won't go there with the kids. That won't be a kid, a kid place, but that doesn't mean we don't have somewhere in mind for the kids. So that's our next, because we just love, we're like you, Kathleen, we just love to travel. So Matt, what does this represent? Well, like Trisha just said, you know, we don't want to limit ourselves to a single Fiji trip. I mean, we love the beach, we love to travel, uh, we love to go places. And so this is not to say that we want to buy our own jet, although yeah. that'd be cool. No. <laughs> it's, it's just to say that we want to travel. And travel as a family, you know. You almost and need the so, whole gym. We, we want to, we want, between the two dogs, the five kids, the us, all of our luggage. <laughs> you know, right, Kim, you're right. Like, let's just make it a jet. Well, a jet. I was going to say, you know, it's super expensive to travel as a family of seven. And so, you know, the best way to do it, both in terms of uh, economics and space and, you know, uh, time, is to fly. So that's why we want to put this on there because we want to be able to fly wherever, whatever, uh, you know, whether it's just Trisha and I or as a family. Yeah, for sure. To give us two extra days of Yeah, it gives the extra time. So we'll fly places, but then here's our most important is cabin. Where that's where it go? all began. That's wow, the, yeah. That's, that's ground zero for us. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a dream. We've talked about, we love our home. Our home is a very just modest home, nothing, nothing too fancy about it. And our kids are constantly saying, we should move. We want our own room. We want a bigger house. And both Matt and I are like, well, would you rather have a bigger house or a cabin? And they say cabin unanimously. So we will definitely be building a cabin one day. And that will be, yeah, can you see that? Okay. That will Sorry, be our, it's covered in your I know. Face, but, but there's our no, three okay. on that little paw right there. Okay. Kim, you're on the phone too. So Kim, do you have... Do you have any, you know, dreams that you've, do you have anything you've decided for where you want to go or what you want to, yeah, where you want to go? Where will you go? I want to, I want to go home. I want to work at home. <laughs> you, that's great. So do you have a picture of your house Me then? Too. Yeah, Matt too. No, I haven't put together a dream board at all. I mean, I never have, but it's in my head. <laughs> hey, well, you got to get it on paper. That's the whole, hopefully this call will inspire both you and Lori and anybody else watching after to do this, because like Kathleen said, and like we're saying, this is, oh. fun. it is so fun to dream. And when you put the pictures, like there was a billion pictures of Fiji, you know, I could have chosen from a, a hundred different ones, but I love this one that has a pool that goes right out to the ocean and these little umbrellas. So nice. it just makes you to dream, like I can actually picture this. This is where I want to be. This is the place. Well, and sometimes taking that first step to do this is the hardest part. Yeah. Because, and I think Kathleen made the, the best point about it. Um, you know, you think, oh, I don't have time or, oh, I'll never get there. You know, a lot of self-limiting um, things just keeping you from doing it. But once you get into it and realize that, you know what, this is cool because you know, if money were no issue, if time were no issue, if I were working at home, if I were blah, 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 you could do all of this. It's so fun to get into thinking about the possibilities and dreaming and thinking. And it, it just, I don't know. It's, it's like giving into a fantasy, you know, yeah. it, it just uh, oh. it's what you don't think is real, real. And it's a lot of fun. Kim, if you have not done this, I... I mean, I talked to Trisha today. She knows I am literally balancing so many balls in the air right now. This has been the best thing I've done in, in, for, in, in my work, not my personal life so much, but has been the best thing I've done in a long time. And, 
and I look at this and I say, this is only the beginning. I am, I'm going to redo it, narrow it down more. Yeah. Well, but I, I, found, I found these stickers that say, dreamers going to dream. I choose to be happy. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Follow your heart. Focus on the good. I mean, I had bought all this stuff, but never used it. Hmm. I bought some of it and then I, because we don't really get magazines here. And I didn't, because I don't know, I just don't find the time to get on the internet and look around and I, I don't not me. Yeah, I hear well, you. and the other benefit to having this, other than the visual, is there are days, even for us, when we say, this sucks. <laughs> this is hard. What are we yeah. doing this for? <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I had five customers cancel today, or I talked dog. I handed out 20 different samples and nothing came of it. You know, it's hard. It's not easy. Yeah. You know, the day when you're in that trough or in that low point and you look at this, it just reminds you of what you're doing it for. Yeah. And it gets you through those hard moments when you really don't want to keep going. Yeah. Yep. Very well said. Let's talk about... Thank what you, Matt. That was great. It, it's true. Right, it comes from a real place because there are times <laughs> where, yes, even, you know... It does. Not, not every day. Yeah, exactly. Not every day is winning yeah. a drawing or getting one in five, you know? Yeah. It's, there's a... There's a lot of misses to go with the wins. More yeah. miss, more misses than wins, to be honest. But we like to. But it flip flops. Like I mean, now wins. it's yeah. now it's it's definitely more win, more yeses than noes. In the beginning, I feel like you're getting twenty noes for every yes or ten noes for every yes. But it definitely starts to change. Yeah. But my point on. is just that when the going gets tough, this is when this yeah. is where you turn to to remember and serve as a reminder. For sure. A, what's possible. B, what do you want? And C. Why the heck are you doing it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So Kathleen, tell us what will you buy? And then Kim and Lori be thinking about what you will buy. Okay. That is the next thing. Um, I will buy. I, I, I'd like to have, a, and, and I'm not saying this exact place because I, I remember this is last minute. I'm going to fine tune it someday when I, don't, I want to have more time. But this is a condo. I'd like to have a place at the beach. You guys would like a place in the, at the, in the mountains or a cabin? I'm more of a beach person. So um, what would I buy is um, I'd like to buy a beach house. And I tease my family because they laugh at me for what I'm doing. And when I tell them that I'm going to be wealthy one day, although I wish I were 10 years younger, but I hope I don't drop dead before I'm wealthy. But anyway, don't say um, that. Don't I care. know, but still I'm older than anybody here. Um, I do. I tell them I'm going to, I said, I'm going to have a beach house. And if you keep laughing at me, I won't even invite you to come to the beach house. <laughs> so you better stop laughing. Stop laughing. Uh, no, I'm talking about my children. Yeah, they all laugh at me. Like, what are you doing, mom? You They're like, mom. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. My son-in-law says, I tell him about some of the people that do so. Well. He goes, oh yeah, they they were just lucky. I'm like, oh, no. But anyway, so yes, a condo. I would like to have a beach house. Um, and then if you can see this right here, this is. I'd, I'd like to have a, um, you know, my, our everyday home with a beautiful, peaceful, serene backyard. Mm. So this signifies my living space every day. The beach house would be something that we would go to and, and have for our families, for David's and my family. Fun. So those are the two things that... Um, that I have um, said I would buy, which is, is all about just living, just enjoying life to me. That's what it means to me. I don't need, I mean, they're material things, but not, I don't need a fancy car. Um, I actually, I threw it away, but I cut out this bracelet like with diamonds and I was like, no, that's not me. I don't need that. I, I have plenty of stuff. 
to me, it's all about life, living and enjoying life. So that's, that's what I would do. That's what I would buy. Stuff that, that would allow me, my husband, and my family to enjoy life in, in some ways. Perfect. Love it. Yeah. So. Tim, Lori, who wants to go next? We'll bring up the rear. Well, I think I have, I think I have um, everything that I've imagined when we bought our ranch, but now I want to buy the cattle for it. So oh, cool. mine's very different than what everybody else's is, but that's, oh, that's what I, cool. I, hey, no I need got the serene porch, um, overlooks um, the, the sunset every evening. So we've got that with our recliner chairs. Um, we've got the land. We need the cows. Love Aww. it. That is awesome. Very cool. Yeah. So there better be a, some cattle that go on your vision board. I love that. I think that's what's so great because Kathleen said some things I'll share. Um, yeah, that are opposite of hers too. So you'll see in just a minute. But yeah, I love it. Okay. Love it, love it. So cattle, okay. that's wonderful. Kim, what about you? I think I want to buy my husband a boat, a brand new boat. Nice. Like a fishing boat and, or like to go on the ocean, a boat you would take on the ocean or? No, a, a, a bigger, better, brand new fishing boat and, and a house on the canal that goes right out to the Gulf. Oh, Because that? after yesterday's boating day, I, I had a really good time. I hadn't done that in a long time. And we're in the country right now, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I should change <laughs> would not be for, for him it, mm -hmm. it brought you joy like you had joy doing it it's something you and your husband enjoy doing together so something like, together yeah. exactly oh, yeah what a great idea that's awesome and then so, i also want a, a second home up north somewhere a, a, like a cabin or something in the carolinas or tennessee i want to be a snowbird very pretty that would be so fun too it's beautiful uh -huh. up there i've been to both Tennessee, well, a little bit of Tennessee and North Carolina and loved it. So beautiful. So foresty. I wouldn't have thought it was so foresty and it's beautiful. So fun. Right. Love it. Okay. Put it on the board. <laughs> so for us, we, these are definitely materialistic. So you get to see the materialistic side. Well, we talk so much about the travel on the cabin and that's really based on, like Kathleen said, yeah. making the memories and family and, family and life. Um, but to round it all out, there are some materialistic things that we don't have that we would like. <laughs> yeah, so this is something, these are two things I did to help visualize it really happening. So not only are they things I, I want, but I actually went um, last week or a week and a half ago and test drove Range Rovers so in the market. I was like, to go and try test drive a Range Rover. And so I did, I got to drive around the, the town. I went to lunch with my girlfriends. They let us have it for about two hours. And oh, fun! fun. So it looked like it was mine. I was like parking it and you know, oh. it was, like, it was so fun. So I was, I was a little white one. That's why I test drove the white one. Cause I wanted the white one. They even have a seven passenger one. So technically we could get one so that our whole family would fit in. But this is, this is like after everything, after we have the cabin, after we've traveled, because this is just bonus. This is just a bonus thing. The cabin is really the fun thing. And here's the other thing we did. Um, so I went to a diamond store. And just, uh, <laughs> Isn't that funny? Kathleen, you're like, I'm not into the diamonds. Yes, I'm very much. I diamond. love it. I love rings. Like anytime Aww. we traveled, like when we went to the. Uh, St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Caribbean. The Caribbean, they have rings you can buy there and you don't have to pay tax on them. They're duty free. And so that's what I did for like four hours. I just tried on rings in all these stores because I just <laughs> love rings. I would have one for every occasion. So this is the most recent one. Where's my camera? Can you like see it? So it's oh. not even that big. It's a cluster of diamonds. So it looks like it's a massive diamond, but it's actually not. It's just a bunch of diamonds. But I loved it. I wore it for like an hour. Same thing. I was just like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> so that's mine. But Matt, you tell them what yours is, what you would buy. So I'm going to do these two things. Okay. Number one, a new truck. I mean, I have a new truck now, but it's 12 years old. Oh. It's, it's old, you know, ready for a new one. So that's, that's the truck. And if you notice, not just any truck, it's a Tundra. Oh. So getting specific there. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, I mean, this is kind of goes without saying, but 
you see that view? That's the view that I want. <laughs> with that <laughs> nice patio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, with that furniture. With that beautiful. furniture and that fireplace and that patio. Oh, room, yeah. That view, oh, yeah. That's what I want. Which you're all invited, right? I mean, pet pros are invited. We host retreats there. We say, just get yourself here and you can have a free place to stay at the five-star retreat. So believe me, we will be having retreats there and you're all invited. So fun. Okay. Well, David will want Matt to take him hunting then. <laughs> oh, seriously. Seriously. We call it a cabin, but really it's mm -hmm. a lot. <laughs> with the acreage to go with and it. And then he can take you fishing in Florida here. Oh, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. That is a decent trade. In fact, <laughs> say, in fact uh, Kim, as soon as you said fishing boat, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to add it. <laughs> awesome. Or, or the means to fly to Alaska or, you know, wherever to fish. You know. Love Dusty it. Picture of the yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right. So, how will your life be changed? Who wants to take that one next? I'll go. Okay, okay, perfect. Tim, yay. Well, you know what I want. <laughs> yes. I, I want to stay us. home. Tell everybody else. I want to be a stay-at-home dog mom. <laughs> Come on. And uh, do my dogs from home and not have to leave them, go to work every day. And I want to be a snowbird. Have two homes, one, up, one here in Florida on a canal and then one up there somewhere in the mountains. Awesome. That's what my life's going to look like. Love That's it. awesome. I'm just going <laughs> to buy a hammock so I can take a hammock okay. to one of y'all's resorts and stay at it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, so I want you to post a picture of a hammock on your vision board. All right? I'm holding it to it. There's another reason for us posting a picture of a plane. We'll fly to all of your places. Yes. Right? And we'll, we'll, we'll have plenty of steaks from, from Lori. <laughs> That's, yeah. I love it. Oh, I love it. Perfect. Is that it? I don't want to cut you off, but is there anything else? How your life will be changed? For me, I'm done. Yeah, Lori? Done. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Okay, Lori, you want to go? Oh, yeah. God. I really haven't thought that one through real well. Let me go at the end. Okay, you got it. Kathleen, do you want us to go? Or are you busy getting the doggy and cat? I'm, I'm getting the dog food. I wanted to show you. I wanted to show everybody feeding pod tree as I. You no, know, I love that. I actually thought. Hey, that look, at, look at them. Look, 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 look at this. <laughs> with a, with a big toy in his mouth. That's awesome. Oh my God, he loves his octopus. He's 11 years old. Oh, cute. He never grew up. That's so cute. I love okay. it. Okay. So the question is, and I know I've done this, I'm just trying to get his food. He's hungry. Yeah, will your life be changed? We can go. Do you want Matt and I to go while you're finishing that? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, how our life will be changed? I don't know if you can see this, but. There's a little savings the money jar. for everything. So there's a college, a vacation, a medical fund, a house fund. This is like my dream right now. I, I feel like I don't have, um, we don't have a lot of that stuff figured out. Like college, we don't really have anything, very little save for our children. Vacation, we kind of like do a little bit every month. Medical, we, no, we just, we need more savings. So I love the idea of our life will be changed because We'll have, we will, savings. we'll have savings. Like if there's a medical emergency, we dip in the medical fund. When the kids go to college, we dip into the college fund. So right now it's just kind of a one, one budget. Things just come out, come out, come out, and we'll have a better plan. So that's how our life will be changed. Um, it just offers more choices. Like that was the other thing is choices. Like we, in fact, um, I was going to cut some stuff out of here. Like I would love to be able to put my children in all of these different activities in the summer. There's like a, a basketball camp, a dance camp, a tennis camp, like all these things. I just want more choices. So more choices for the children, more savings for emergencies. Um, our, our kitchen will be more functional. This is a dream kitchen, a kitchen that Matt and I both really like. Aww. So just choices, really. That's what it comes down to. Our life will change because we have more choices. We don't have to sit and say okay well if we, we we only can do one lesson each child can be in one lesson or you know what i mean so the, the ability to have choices so was there anything else you wanted to add Matt? um no that was 
No, that was well said. Um, one thing that we talked about early on, I think right after the very first legacy leadership was getting to the point where we have enough to give back. We gotta get Molly her food too. Yeah. <laughs> if you can if you can hear that. But <clears throat> when we talked about giving back, we talked about Oh. And I don't know what exactly that means yet or in what capacity. Um but we want it to be involved somehow with giving back via service animals, whether that's, you know, wounded vets or, um, you know, emotional support animals, just in some way we wanted to be able to give back. And so that's what, and so that's why we chose this picture was as a reminder that that's ultimately what we want to do when we're in a position in a place that we can. Yeah. So we'll put that right up there. And then ultimately, we ought to just put more travel pictures up there because ultimately, being able to travel whenever, wherever, however, that's, that's how we want our lives to change. Okay, so who's next? Kathleen, you wanna go? I think it's me. Um, I have um, just two pictures. No, three. This is relaxing and doing something like yoga. Because once I, when I get there, I want to have, I want to be, I want to really relax more and be at the beach in a nice big hammock. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Lori, yeah, Lori. Hi. And then be able to have the choice if I want all out thrills or all out chills, whatever I choose nice. to do. Love it. Very nice. <laughs> And then at the top, I put, I choose to be happy. Not that I'm not happy now, um, but sometimes I think I'm so busy driving my businesses that I don't have time to think about what you want, what I'm doing, where I'm going, who I am, what my name is, or. You don't stop and smell the flowers. Yeah. Yes, I know, Lori. And you know, I, I am really, a poster child for that. I know. And I want to, I mean, I want to stop that, but I don't want to become a couch potato or a, I'm a lot old, like I said, I'm much older than everybody here and have to be careful I don't slow down too much because I think that's a person's demise when you get old. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Without a doubt. I've seen it in my own parents' lives. For sure. Yeah, so, so I'm just... You know, I have to, I'm thinking different. I don't have to worry about the kitchen or um, the kids school. We're like, been there, done that. We have a great home and it's new and everything we need. And look at that sweet girl. Hi, sweetie. I know, putting, putting tape you say, on her face. You say, hi. Maisie. Hi. You say, hi, people kisses. Mwah. I know, just like my sweet Lexi. Yeah. Sweetie girl. All right. Lori, did you did you think of anything, Lori? Yeah, I guess that? I'll I guess I'll wrap it up with my um <laughs> I'll wrap it up with my um my cows. Um I think the reason that I want to invest in the cattle is so that um that Jesse will have something that is his in the way that I have my dog business. Aww. And Aww. We want to be able to give back to um, the younger children. Ours were able to do um, animals and stuff all growing up, and I think it in, it inspired them to be better people. And so we want to give back to people who whose children can't afford to buy their animals, to buy them their animals, so they can show them at the different rodeos and so forth. That's so awesome. invest in our invest in our society um, and give back. That's way that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. That's awesome. That really is. Thank that's you. really, really neat. On multiple Wait. levels. That it gives, you know, you're selflessly thinking about that. Thinking about She's eating that tape. Jesse. I know. She's <laughs> say hi. I like tape. You want more? Let's have some more. I, um, but helping Jesse and helping your family and helping the community and, and just uh, having that that just sounds really neat. Having his own thing and you having your thing and that's yeah. really cool. Very neat. Can I just make it? I just want you all to know I didn't put anything in here really about giving back, which is 
shame on me. I, I got off on the me thing, but I think it's because I give back a lot. And yes. giving back is just part of who I am. I just do it. And um, this was, this took me, this whole thing took me totally away from what I do every day. To but that's the beauty of it. Like that is honestly, oh, okay. All right. That's the beauty of this is that this is, this is daring you to dream about you. What do you want? There's nothing yeah. in here. Like as I'm reading in this, this book here, there is no right or wrong way to dream about what you want, what your is. And and 99.9% .9 of ours is all materialistic, you know? And so I don't think there's really, don't, don't say shame on you because it's your dreams. Those are your dreams. And you've done, like you said, you've served, you've helped your children. You're still helping your children, your grandchildren. This is a time to dream for you and you alone. Yeah. So don't, don't. This was fun. Yeah. It was really fun. Well, the last one, how will you feel when you reach your goals? So I, I have a little five star thing here, a little five star logo, five star team. So I'll start off with this and then I want you guys to share too. But honestly, a, a huge portion of my, my shift in thinking that I'm having recently is I heard a quote that when you help people get what they want, you'll get what you want. And mm. so I suddenly have this shift of like, I want everybody on the five star team to achieve their goals because then I'll be able to achieve mine. And how will that make me feel incredible to know that Lori, you have cattle that Kim, you have a first and second home in the places that you desire that Kathleen, you're able to travel wherever you want. And how will that make me feel? It'll make me feel incredible. So if I can help you get there and then ultimately I get where I want to be too, then we all just get to celebrate together and we all get to sit at the cabin retreat, the five star team <laughs> retreat and just say, this is where it's at. This is where it's at. And we were strong enough to stay. We were strong enough to, to hold on to this vision that, we, that we've pictured and we see for ourselves and we're here because of it, you know? So that's why this is such an important piece. And I love that it's the biggest paw print and it's the, it's the biggest piece of this whole vision board is seeing you all accomplish your dreams and how that will impact us too, so. That's, that's a great closing. That's exciting. So Thank what about you? Yeah. What about you guys? What's you, how will you feel? What will it make you, you know, how will you feel to be able to get those cattle? Accomplished. To... And at your heart, will it just explode knowing that you're able to help these children and help the community? Yeah. And yes. Just like when we're in the middle of something. And then Kathleen, what about you? Uh, I just, I'll, I'll be peaceful. I, when I just think that, that I'll just smell the roses. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'll do that even when I retire from my job at the end of the year, but I just feel that I'll, um, I've, I've had a taste of it from time to time when I let, you know, the business go and, and, and it's like, wow, I, I just, it's in me to, to just take life in and enjoy and, and take a breath and just sit, maybe pick up a book or um, just sit quietly. Go to your yoga and, and just yeah. the relaxing, the calm. Yeah. yeah. It'll help you live a lot longer too, right? Because you'll be engaged in what you want to do, doing what you want to do, but it'll be a much more manageable scenario, right? Because you're not juggling so yeah. much. Yep. Cool. Kim, what about you? Hi, Maisie. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Hi, baby. Sorry, hi, baby. I had to get her off mute. Oh, you're okay. Um, what it would feel like, that's the question. Uh-huh. How will it make you feel? I that's think, the top of the vision board. I think it would make me feel wonderful to, to get to earn my goal get there and then along the way by doing that I'll be helping others so that'll make me feel good and if I do get to do that I do want to one day do um support animals I would love to take my dog to see kids that are sick in the hospital it'll break my heart but I think it would do them a lot more better 
I always wanted to do that with my mini horses and I didn't never could never do that because I didn't have time. So if I had more time, I would be able to do that at least with the dog. So I think it would feel good. That's awesome. I love that because again, it's just all about how helping one another, you know, helping your community, helping, helping your team and they all get what they want. So you get what you want. It, it goes right along. Exactly. With started out with. So it's, yeah. Neat. I think it's, it's neat to think of it that way. Well, that's pretty much all we had planned was, was just to go over this vision board activity and um, put it somewhere prominent. So I'll show you. Can I flip this around? I don't think I can because the, uh, let me see if I can. You should gonna, be able to. So I, hold on, I'm going to. Just hit the now that we have this, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so here's my vision board now. You can see it's just a picture of Jesus Christ and we're big, we're big Christians here. And um, time with my family, time with many of you. You know, it has here a vision board of like savings, how much in savings, uh, what our credit cards and home equity look like, and just some inspirational quotes and things up here. Uh, but now I get to replace it. With this, this is what we'll be looking at every day. And we'll be reminded every day of what it is that we Aww. Isn't that cool? So we'll somewhere visible. We can see it. Oh whoops, and it just went in the trash. And she's all scared now and depressed. Sorry, sorry, Cindy. Anyway, <laughs> I know. The idea is the idea is we will post that up there. I'll pin it in there and we'll be able to look at it every day. And what a neat thing that will be to have it visual. That's why it's important to actually do this exercise and do it with your teams. If they weren't here today, do it with your teams or encourage them to watch this video, help them get inspired on how they can really just dare to dream. Because yeah. until you get clear, I'm going to read that one more time. Matt, will you hold this yeah. for a sec? I'm going to read Jack Canfield's quote one more time. Um, the theme for this book, how to get from where you are to where you want to be. To accomplish this, you have to know two things, where you are and where you want to be. Your vision is a detailed description of where you want to get to. It's not, um, you don't need to know exactly how you're going to get there. All that's important is that you figure out where there is. So spend a few minutes. In fact, he gives an exercise. Uh, um, he says here that if you want, you can spend 15 minutes, um, set the timer and work with the partner and just, for 15 minutes, have your partner ask you, what do you want? And you write down what you want. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And it starts out with the things that, you know, are going on our vision board. Oh, I want to be debt free. Oh, I want to have this car. Oh, I want to have this diamond ring. Oh, I want to have a cabin. But then you start getting even more clear. Those, those layers start peeling back and you start seeing what it is you want that, that isn't so materialistic. And it might be things like, I just want a happy family. I just want, you know, whatever it may look like. So if you're not totally clear on what you want, maybe try that exercise. Spend 15 minutes having someone ask you, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want, and see what comes out. But we all had it, you know, this was great. Our, this, the four of us, five of us here, I think we all have a clear picture of what we want, but if your teams don't, you know, encourage them to do this vision board activity, spend that 15 minutes, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want, and see what comes out, so. Because what you think about is what you're gonna get. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So glad you guys came today. Thank oh, you for being here. Yeah, this, this was Love kind it. of a, to me, this is more of an intimate, emotional um, Zoom call. And it, I've, I treasure this call. Not that you don't do other calls well, Tricia, but this is a special call. And the people were here that were supposed to be here. And I'm sorry that, um, Others didn't join us because it was really special. Yeah, I think so too. Thank we you. All, we all have a, a little better, a little better taste of what we're all after. And it's all so different. They all look so different, but so individual. And that's, that's what makes it so beautiful. So thanks for being here. Appreciate your time tonight, you guys. Thank and you. On yep. Keep on dreaming. Thank you. Can you guys post a picture of your dream board so I can see? Yes, yeah, we will. We will. Oh, sorry, Kim, I forget. Thank You're you. not saying all the times we're saying, took it. No. Out. No, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, we will. Sure. And feel free to Thank do that you. as well. I would really invite both you, Lori, and Kim 
to post a picture once you've completed yours as well. And Kathleen, post a picture of yours too. I think it's really important for your teams to see their leaders doing this. So yeah, take, take advantage of that. I will do. Thank okay. you. Thank Thanks you. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.